What's going on ladies and gents, boys and girls, welcome back to Football Collectibles South Coast YouTube channel uh, and today we've got a, it's probably going to be the final look unless I get the limited editions that I need of the Slam Attack Reloaded, I know I've not touched on this for a while now, uh, obviously been concentrating on the um, Match Attacks and Panini Adrenaline XL collections uh, but a few people have asked for it in the comments so I am a man of the people and here we are, so we'll go through this. So yeah, let's crack it open. Okay, so as I said, um, this is, I think it's the first one I've done of these actually. I can't remember if I've done a, I might have done a small binder update to start off with, but pretty much complete with the base collection. Um, and the only things we're kind of outstanding on this is limited editions. Um, as with most of the sort of tops collections, you know, we have to wait for them to come out. Um, but yeah, so again, I've kind of set it out as per the uh, checklist. Um, so we'll start off with the kind of raw um, superstars, so all in alphabetical order. Um, so we'll, we won't really touch on obviously most of these. Um, obviously, if you do follow the collections, you know who these guys are. Um, so that finishes uh, there with Zelina Vega. I've left two spaces. Uh, just to kind of have that new SmackDown uh, roster start on a new page. Again, just something I like. Don't like having this kind of mixed pages and stuff like that, especially over a, a double page spread. It looks quite nice uh, set out like this. Um, so yeah, all in all, I love this collection. You know, it's the first time I've collected the, the Slam Attack stuff, so really enjoyed it. Uh, being a, a, a sort of lifelong wrestling fan, obviously not so much now, uh, but do kind of look at it every now and again. Uh, then we go into the NXT uh, kind of small subset, um, so there's quite a few in there of the next generation uh, of WWE superstars, so that's a quite a nice subset. Uh, and then we go into the WWE NXT UK subset, again, so concentrating on the uh, UK talent, again, some interesting characters. Flash Morgan Webster there, looks a bit like Austin Powers. Legero, United Kingdom kind of bull thing going on there but yeah whatever whatever floats your boat um so yeah that finishes uh with uh zach gibson there and then we go into the 205 live so obviously some of the smaller guys uh gentleman jack gallagher there obviously one of the guys from the uk uh, so that's only a small subset uh, and then we go into the tag teams as well so you've got quite a good range of you know the variety from the wrestling world uh tag teams um, the various uh, franchises and all that sort of stuff. Then you've got Future Legends. Again, some of these are questionable in my view, uh, just from some of the wrestling I've seen most recently. Obviously, some people like Matt Riddell, people like that, Baron Corbin. Yes, very warranted. Um, I think some of the others, Angel Garza, probably not, Cameron Grimes, uh, people like that. Obviously, Otis, definitely, that man's a legend already but yeah some strange questionable future legends in there uh, then you've got a smaller subset again so we've got the rare so you've got aj styles asuka Rey mysterio uh, and ruby riot then you've got the four tactic cars the table ladder chair and trash can and uh, then you've got the firefly funhouse small subset uh, again of some the smaller characters from these obviously bray wyatt the fiend bray wyatt himself uh, the buzzard pig boy Rambling Rabbit and uh, Abby the Witch. And then one of my favourite subsets is the Hall of Fame, uh, definitely. Uh, so some absolute legends in there. Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream, um, you know, Road Dog Jesse James, the, the King, X Pac, British Bulldog, uh, DDP, Kevin Nash, Razor Ramon, Sergeant Slaughter, these are absolute, you know, all time legends, Batista, Booker T. Brett the Hitman Hart, China, Eddie Guerrero, obviously no longer with us. Macho Man as well, no longer with us. Uh, Ric Flair, Shawn Michaels, Diesel. Obviously, he's got his two characters there, Kevin Nash and Diesel. Uh, Sting, Yokozuna, Ultimate Warrior, Trish Stratus, just to name a few of those. So, yeah, absolutely love that subset. Uh, then we go into the kind of shiny card. So, they've gone for uh, sort of pay-per-view subsets. So, we start off with Raw Rumble. Um, then you've got SummerSlam, Survivor Series, Super Showdown, uh, and then we finish off with Hell in a Cell and Extreme Rules. Uh, so again, nice, like the cards, they are quite decent, obviously feature some of the, the bigger characters, bigger stars, Randy Orton, 
uh, Goldberg, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, people like that. Um, and then you've got the two Money in the Bank winners from this year. So you've got Asuka and Otis. Um, obviously, be interesting to see whether Otis cashes in anytime soon and who that will be against. And then these ones, again, so these are all the championships and I love these belts. Uh, again, some of them I'm not a massive. I'm not a massive fan of the 24/7 championship whatsoever. That's pointless in my view. But there you go. Uh, but yeah, obviously all the normal ones. Intercontinental. I'm not a massive fan of the new one of that. Prefer the old style. Same with the tag team championships. Prefer the older ones of those. Uh, and then you go into some of the smaller ones. So you got the women's uh, tag team championships, NXT championship. Women's Championship, the Tag Team Variants, North American Variant, uh, NXT UK Champion Men and Women's, NXT UK Tag, um, to finish off those. So yeah, good an another good shiny subset, definitely. Um, and then we go into finishers. So we've got some good finishers. We've got the RKO, the Coup de Gras from Finn Balor. Uh, Goldberg with a jackhammer. Then you go into iconic finishers. So obviously Sharpshooter, Brett the Hitman Hart. Stoke off Steve Austin with a stunner, Undertaker, Tombstone, Pedigree, Triple H, Choke, Slam for Kane, Attitude Adjustment, uh, John Cena. And then we've got two random WrestleMania cards for Otis and Braun Strowman. Um, and then you go into the icons that kind of finish off the kind of base set, really. Um, so these are the kind of current icons. So Sasha Banks and Charlotte Flair for the women, Daniel Bryan and Seth Rollins for the men. And then you go into the golden icons. Uh, so Triple H, Rock, Brother Hitman Heart, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. And that's pretty much where the base collection finishes. Then you go into the um, limited edition kind of 100 Club stuff. Um, so we've got all these. So we've got the 100 Club Roman Reigns, Asuka, the 101 Drew McIntyre, and the Fiend Bray Wyatt 100 Club. So we picked all those up quite quickly. Uh, and then again, you've got Super Rare, Undertaker, and John Cena. Again, just some random two cards. I don't know why there's not more of those, but it is what it is. Then you go into the limited editions. So we picked at the, the Bray Wyatt Fiend Gold, came in the starter pack. And we got quite lucky with the Ultra Rare. Ultra rare. We picked up all of those in the first couple of openings we did. And if you've not seen, obviously, the, the openings for any of this collection, uh, I'll leave uh, end screen at the end of this video, as well as a, a, a card at the top, so you can check that out. Please do. Um, so we've got the Ultra Rare Becky, Gold Becky, Silver Becky and Bronze. Ultra Rare Roman, Gold, Silver and Bronze Roman. Um, so we've got those. They're the main ones for that. Uh, and then obviously these ones we picked up in the tins and mini tins and mega tins and all that stuff. So John Cena, Becky, uh, Sasha Banks, Edge, The Rock, Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And now comes to the difficult one that we've been struggling to get. So... Drew McIntyre, obviously you can only pick these up with the tw £12 multi-packs um, with the tin. But obviously we've got all the limited editions from the tin. So uh, I'm not, yeah, it is what it is. But I'm not buying more, so probably try and pick these up on eBay. So we're only looking for the gold and silver uh, from that. Uh, and then the only ones we're still missing uh, here is uh, Daniel Bryan. Um... Seth Rollins, I believe it is. Must have got him somewhere. I'm sure I've got. Oh no, Seth Rollins is there. Um, the only other one is. I can't remember the name. Charlotte Flair. Let me just check the checklist. So Charlotte Flair, Daniel Bryan, are the only two are missing uh, in there. And then obviously got Sir Gold and Silver of Drew McIntyre. That's where the limited editions finish. So Nikki Cross we picked up in a multi pack. Seth Rollins picked up on a Web Wednesday deal most recently. I believe Charlotte Flair's due out in a magazine in the next couple of weeks. So we'll pick that one up. So we'll, we'll only be the Daniel Bryan we missed out on in a in a uh, previous Web Wednesday deal and the Gold and Silver um, Drew McIntyre. And then we're going to the Megatin subsets. So these were the kind of legends versus the current superstars. So again, nice mixture of legends and the current superstars. So really good uh, subset to finish off the collection. And we finish it off with our, we picked out our relic cards. So the only one we picked out, we didn't pick out any autograph cards or anything like that. So we've got the Triple H Batista ring mat relic card. So happy uh, to pick out at least one of those from the collection. 
Uh, but yeah, so that is the binder update for the WWE Slam Attacks Reloaded collection for 2020. Uh, if you have liked the video, don't forget to leave a like. Uh, and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Obviously, we do uh, other stuff from our uh, channel, not just WWE. Obviously, football and stuff like that. So if you are new, do subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn notifications on so you get notified uh, in future when we do upload our videos. Don't forget to check out the links in the description down below to the WWE Slam Attacks webpage uh, and to our Instagram page as well where you can drop us a follow uh, for some videos and pictures and stuff like that. Till the next one guys, cheers.